Uh -huh. Sari nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets it, the contents spill out onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it! I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry or wanted an excuse to take a walk. Or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves the one option. <laughs> I give up! Please don't make me feel guilty! If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty! Eh? Or, ah, uh, eh. Yuri! Tell Joseph to let me borrow some money! That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough. Uh, retribution. You're right though. I did something bad and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That. <laughs> ah! Ow. What was... Eh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution? Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. I'm so happy. Sari hugs the cookie. So good. <laughs> Sari suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. But yours is chocolate. Yeah. Why do you think I gave you that one? Um. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Yay! Ah, oh, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! <laughs> Good thinking. Cupcake, speak to my creative tummy. Sorry, you can put her mind to things and make them come to life. Now that I think about it, that sounds similar to Hanukkah. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. <laughs> Fuck me, I forgot about that. <laughs> that genuinely startled me. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? Not every day. That's not very convincing. That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I tried to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but nobody will ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Forsha, I really don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry, the way I said that was way better than what was written down. That's super mean! Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. It is a weird angle, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but, but this perspective really does... Like, the size of her fucking shoes compared to, like, her head. Like, her head doesn't even fit on the screen. You know? This is so funny. What is? Well... I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Huh? Don't say that. You make me feel weird about it. BACA! <laughs> oh, the male version, we needed that so much, didn't we? It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh... I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Huh, why is it so hard to close? Maybe she hasn't bought a new blazer yet. And because her fucking breasts are literally fucking taking up the space. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs have gotten bigger again. D don't say that out loud. It's not worth it at all. Sari hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Thanks for undoing all the fucking progress. Thank you so much, Sari. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? 
What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I ever had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take <laughs> and you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Yay! So let's go with not or not Natsuki. Sayori. Because that's the one I wrote it to this time. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Joseph! Eh? I love it! Especially after yesterday's poem. Huh? You're too honest sometimes, Sayori. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. It's not just a poem. It's a Joseph poem. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad. I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. I can. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside my, with, with my thumb and forefinger and pluck it one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy... Or, sorry. Yeah, happy thoughts in bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave. Wondering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow uh, dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty self could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them down from the shelf one after another, holding them out to every, each and every friend, each and every bottle. And every, but every time I let one go, it shatters against the tiles between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be before my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 inside my head. <sighs> oh man, oh. Holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about this. You're not thinking too hard about this, you idiot! I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating, waveform, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sighing, cosa, and tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. I'm sorry, I just from that, I've, I've, I'm starting to properly get the like chills from playing this now. And the funniest thing is, I've played this, I know what's happening, I just, I can never get used to it. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how you're to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak uh, over the noise. Actually, real quick. Right, it's open. Doki Doki Lush Club. Where is it? Uh, where's um, characters, won't it? And it says load me. So would that just be opening the character thing? The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. Oh, so wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So wait, what was in the character yoke? That actually is the noise, I think. 
Hold on, just, just give me two seconds. There it is, right? So, this is literal noise. And she's trying to speak over it. But I don't know if her, like, letters are even there. I see a few letters that stand out to me, like B and Q and stuff. Oh, wait, Muse is here! <laughs> Muse! Okay, no, that, okay, that's a good to know. So now that makes sense. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression or a feeling. Uh, or a, c a conversation with the reader. That's me. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait. Is this e tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Right, okay. Uh, before I go, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna mess around with the folder, because... I want to load the other things and see if I find anything. No, Natsuki's is the same. Sayori's the same. Sayori's is the same. And Yuri. Oh, wait. Oh, Yuri's is so different. Wait. Hold on, I'm going to make sure I put that in the center. You guys see this, right? What the hell? Like, the other one was noise, but this is like... Pr there's, there's something in that. I can't remember... If I ever found out what was in this book. Like, it, it's more organized. Oh god, did the music? I think that was just a, uh, uh, just me fucking around the notepad. I don't think that was the actual game. Right, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I'm gonna continue, of course, with Natsuki and Yuri, so. Yee. Yeah.